<laughs> it is summer cocktail season, that is for sure. You may also be dodging some rain if you're going to be out and about getting a drink later today. We've got showers starting to redevelop along our coast and back through the western parts of the Atchafalaya Basin. So we're going to continue to see some of these showers increase in coverage as we go through the day. Some of these are heavy and they're slow movers, so we'll watch for isolated street flooding tomorrow and Sunday. Your weekend plans, some spotty storms. Maybe you're going to spend it at the pool. You may have to run in every now and then if those storms do develop. It's just how you have to play the game for our summer months down here on the Gulf Coast. You know, I'm looking at the tropics here. It's pretty busy for June. I'll be honest with you. This is not something we're usually watching as a couple areas that far out in June. But the good news, we don't need to really worry about it this weekend. So I want you to go through your week and have a good time. If you're traveling, you may need to watch the forecast closer, especially down in the Caribbean islands. Let's start with Invest 94. This is a large area of moisture. Luckily, it's running out of time over water, so it's just going to bring some rain to the Yucatan and Belize. It will have a higher chance of wrapping up right in here. Let me show you with our precision cast. You can see the broad spin rain along the Yucatan Sunday. There it is. It spends a little time over water. It quickly spins up does its magic, moves inland. So this is never an issue for the northern Gulf Coast. Invest 95, this one is basically on the cusp of being a tropical depression or a storm. It wouldn't surprise me within the next hour or two hours if this gets a classification. It looks like it, it's there in the Hurricane Center certainly thinks it's going to do it at some point today. It's heading west 15 to 20 miles an hour. The shear is going to be relaxing on this thing, and that's why we think it's going to continue to intensify, and it very well could be a hurricane once it nears the Windward Islands as we get into Sunday night and Monday. If you're traveling to Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, or anywhere down here, Barbados is down here, you got to watch the forecast closely. A hurricane could be moving in by Sunday into Monday. This is riding under a ridge of high pressure, so our confidence is very high of where it's going in the near term. It's once we get into the middle of next week, there's a lot of question marks. And the two biggest question marks, how strong is the ridge sitting over us? How strong is the storm? A stronger storm may get pulled more to the north. A weaker storm would probably get pushed more so into Central America. And remember, it can always be somewhere in between. So this is into Wednesday of next week. It's going to be somewhere around Jamaica, the um, Dominican Republic, there's Cuba, and then that continued path. It's really once we get to Thursday and Friday, we start to see the divergent of those models. So that's the big question at this point. You don't need to worry about it this weekend, but please, you got to check in or throughout next week to see what's happening with that. Just check in daily to see what the updates are with the eventual path. Our seven day forecast, it's just hot and humid. We'll be watching for our scattered storms each day. Some of these are heavy and they mainly pop up in the afternoon hours. And with those heavy showers and storms, it can lead to isolated street flooding.